Time for level two adult tap from Queso Studios. We're in week four. It's the 29th of September for those of you who are doing it today. And welcome if you're doing it live with me now on the screen. There are a few that aren't are doing it on catch up. We're missing you and hope you're enjoying your tap at home. So let's just start with a little posture check. Parallel feet team, soft on those knees. Always in tap, keep the weight on the balls of the feet. Yes, forward and low, forward and low. Hinging at the hips, forward and low. Take a nice little bounce and just feel that your weight is over those balls of those feet, yeah? So it's like the heels could lift off at any moment. In fact, they're going to. So we're gonna lift our heels off and we're just gonna transfer our weight from one foot to the other. Like that, lovely. Minimal effort, just literally stepping on the balls of your feet. Lovely, guys. Now let's turn that into a step and a heel. So we go through the ball and do the heel. Again, doing the minimum at the moment that you need to do with that. Good. Make it two lovely key beats now. Now try going onto your heels with your ball. Just to get the shins a bit warm up. It's a bit fresher this week, hey? The weather's definitely on the turn. So we might need a bit more to time to warm up today. When you do that, be careful not to straighten your knees. Lovely, that's great. All right, back to parallel and just pushing up over the instep to crease your shoes. Just get those feet a little bit warmer. Try and relax your toes in your shoes. Use the instep, use the instep as much as you can. That is great, well done. And just some very gentle ankle circles. So I've immediately sucked up my, my lower tummy muscles to help me balance. That's great guys. Are you still on a nice bent supporting knee? Change feet for me, well done. That's great, lovely team. And we're gonna go into our nice straightforward first warm up and the first section is just your bounces and then you start to raise your toes on the rebound of the bounce so if i told you this was ball just ball digs you would just go here but what i want is the bounce to start it off so it's down up down you see it's better it's a whole different thing isn't it really and then the same lifting the heels so it's going through the bounce it's just a better way of warming up those ankles well done then we do your step and step on the spot and to the side step 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 change one two three and four and we get some lovely little arm lines going on right from the off there you go who says they never use their arms beautiful well done team lovely and then you've got your I am just uh, step heels, step heels on the spot. Really swing your arms. That's gorgeous. And we'll do some heel and toes today going forward. And then step heels going back. Four and four. Heel and toe. And then step and heel. Lovely, well done. You've got your little gallop steps. It's really a nice slow step and change. I just really want you to throw your arms away today and really warm those shoulders up. We'll do our little Charleston steps, starting with a heel dig at the front, building up to a little kick if you're ready, when you're ready. Yeah? Lovely. And we'll do our slow, slow, quick, quick change, straight taps, really using those angles. Lovely. So try not to end up here, down up, rebound, 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 down. Same out to the side, limiting the turnout in your hips, guys. Just comfortable, but not exaggerated. All right, good. Yeah, the ankles are going to get warm. Let's go for it, team. Let's just check the music. Not too loud, but loud enough for us all to hear in here. Bounce it out, parallel feet. Start lifting your toes up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Good. Straight forward. Nice swing. Well done. Nice, Jane and Chris. 
on the spot, on the spot left. Lovely arms. Just together. Don't let them veer out. <laughs> Make it too big. 
It is subtle, but you are trying to make those sounds just really subtly. Here we go. Thank you. 
two sounds out to the side. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, and shake it up. So now we've got to just add the hops and the springs and the other bits that make it a half break. Easy once you've done that bit. Shuffle, hop, shuffle, spring. So we go, I'm staying on this leg because I've got more business to do. Now I finish my shuffle, I change onto the other one. Now I do a shuffle step. Shuffle step. I'm on the same leg again. Shuffle, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step. Shuffle, hop, step, shuffle, step. Back, back, back. Yes, isn't it daiquiris? I like daiquiris for my breakfast, yes? Sausages, daiquiris, take your pick. Meat or booze, booze. Right, left leg, ready? Da, 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 da. I'll back you one more time. Five, six, seven. Good. Accents really help you keep rhythm. Okay, and they, they make you feel secure, and that was lovely and secure. So a full triple break. Da 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 shuffle, step shuffle, step shuffle, full stamp. And then you can do a full one on the left. So just a quick practice of your full triple break. Five, six, seven. One or two of you not catching your front, your first shuffle. And the other thing is, is stepping back onto the balls of the feet. So much easier. Only to come down on the stand. That was a rubbish stand, sorry. Stay up until you need to go down at the end. Ready again? Five, six, seven. Up. Now come. when you're up on the balls of your feet. So, <laughs> just a couple. The ears, are, the ears are well trained now, guys. You're amazing. It's sounding beautiful, honestly. I'm just splitting hairs now. We're going to turn, if you want to, half break to the front, and your full break turning to your right. Your half break to the front, and your full break turning to the left. What am I doing to help me turn? Excellent. Looking, spotting. Good. Okay. A couple of things. Getting the work done early on in the turn. Otherwise, you're like, oh man, I'm not going to get there. Okay. Anything postural? Yeah. Wait forward. Use your head. Okay. Two half breaks to the front. One full break turning. Go. Go. So it's that thing, isn't it? I don't know if you ever find this at home, guys. The minute we had a turn, the relationship of your legs to you doesn't change. So anything you're doing should still be happening as you go around. But the funny thing, it plays a trick on you when you turn. Is it a different pattern? Should I take that foot behind? Well, if you did it behind, oh, if you did it like that to the front, yes, I've taken my leg behind, it should still happen the turn but it just plays tricks on you. Arms, side of position please and music. Let's go. I promise you the arms will help. They're not just there to, sh to look pretty, I promise you. Alright, now let's see. They do look pretty though, they do look pretty. Uh,
it once more, just to, just to challenge you a little bit more, and then we will put it away. All right? It's only a tad. No, you. I know I've said that before, but I do mean it. I've checked your tempos. <laughs> in our upstage left corner, I think, and we, and we patterned it round, didn't we? We did a loop on the first one. So today, go to the opposite corner, go to your right corner, and you'll be doing a circular pathway anti-clockwise and then finishing it facing the front. Okay? Good. Trust me. <laughs> Four feet rip to start with your left leg, and then it's two steps, so it goes. And four feet left, and four feet, and four feet, step, step, four feet, four feet, four feet. Now, if we say, yeah, you've got four sets, well done. I was going to say, two sets would not be enough. It's four sets, left, right, left, right, making one circle. Good. And I said fours to begin with, just to let your feet warm up. Then you can add the five if you want to. Let's try that again on the left. And four feet. come in on the second set if our weight wasn't in the right place we talked about this didn't we coming here but not being up here as if you're doing a ballet class staying low and then you should be able to get that foot in the right position i'm not saying that's an easy transition just do that much for the music please guys with the music even hmm. Now where are we? 
We're back on the left leg. We're back on the left leg. A five beat cramp roll simply starts with a tap spring or a tap step. Tap, 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 tap. Our left leg's free first, so we go pick up step left, step right. Shuffle, hop, step across and clap. Da, 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 da. Repeat the whole thing on the right. Da, 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 da. Good. What's the danger here? They threw everyone's weight back on the hop. You just keep it small. You just keep the weight forwards, yes? The hop is so tiny. Much better than carry. Let's just do that again. Starting with the left, five, six, seven, We talked about this last week about trusting that rhythm changes. Is this going to work? Yes, it will. Trust. It will. Are you ready? Five feet. Torval and Dean. Alright, again, Jane and Chris, what can I say? I didn't name you. <laughs> again on the left, just getting that rhythm. Five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. 
shuffle, step, heel, shuffle, step, heel, tap, tap, step, heel, toe. What weight is my leg on? What leg is my weight on? <laughs> you didn't notice I said that all the wrong way around, did you? I must do it a lot. My weight, not my leg, my weight is on my left leg. Heel shuffle, step, heel shuffle, step, heel, tap. Two sets and then a side tap out. Heel shuffle, step, heel shuffle, step, heel, tap. Good. Link that together with the crab roll. Tap, tap, tap. Heel shuffle, step, heel shuffle, step, heel, tap. Tap, step, heel, tap. And that just finishes off your phrase. Tap, step, heel, transferring all your weight onto it. And then a toe tap at the back. Yes. So rhythmically. So there isn't much of a pause, lovelies. After that tap, you then go onto the onto the right leg. Okay? And so that last bit's a lot more even. And seven and eight. And a one, two. And seven and eight. Yes? I'll back you again. Five, six, seven, eight. And then it's stamp across, toe, step, stamp, toe, step, stamp. Stamp, toe, tap, step, stamp, toe, tap, step, stamp. Yeah, lovely. Very Spanishy style there. So, hop back onto the left. Right, left, right, left. A bit like a run, but that actually looks a lot better when you turn back on yourself if you want to. But today, if you don't want to, just get that hip there. Right leg comes across for this. Yes, five and six and seven and eight. And stylistically, what I would do is not turn your foot into the corner but keep a little bit open in your hips because of the style we're working in. In other words, because I'm travelling there, if my foot is facing that way, I've got to like turn up. Yes, feels different, doesn't it? Than turning in, yeah? So we're there. Arms to follow, arms to follow. Okay, so we'll take it back to the toe tap there. We're waiting on the right leg. Was that okay for you at home? Yes? Stamp, toe, step, stamp, toe, step. Put it all together, that was excellent. From the beginning, five, six, your cramp roll goes. Roll back. Seven, go, go, tap. One, two, 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 one
because if you think about a tap step will change, your weight goes onto the front leg at the end. So da, 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 drop onto your back leg, bring it forwards. My weight's now on my front leg, drop onto your back leg, change. Drop onto your back leg, tap step will change. Yes? So I'm having it come down, it's no good, no good. Yes, good, right. Go on then, no holes barred, give it a whirl. I've got four minutes to feast you on this one, lovely ladies. You have been excellent today. So if you haven't done your little
exercise. All of the control through the maxi board, all on one leg for the shuffles. I salute you today. That was a really lovely class. Well done. We're cleaning up our taps very, very nicely this term. Very good. Everybody with me. Up and over on your instep. Just loosening those calves. Well, you three have certainly had a good warm-up for contemporary today. <laughs> Woo! Well done. Take right leg back into a gentle calf stretch. Make sure you don't slip in your tap shoes. Very, very well done, Jane and Chris, and everyone catching up at home. So Deirdre, Sarah, maybe Rachel's dipping in, Kay. Well done, team. Change legs. Fantastic. I'll be with you in one minute, and we'll be out Margarita for you really quickly, I promise. Well done, guys. And then a quad stretch of your choosing for those poor thighs. If you're on the balance, you may hold on to the bar if you wish. Soft on your supporting knee. Or you might want to do the dip and tuck with your back heel raised. And you'll feel that there. How's that going, guys? Lovely. And just change legs for me now. Tokenistic stretch. If you want to do more when we get home, please do. Keep yourself moving. Lots of water. Hydrate after that. It was a marathon today. Well done. Fantastic. Give yourself a big clap. Jane and Chris, thank you so much. I'm going to love and leave you. And well done on catch up. Excellent. See you tomorrow, Dave. Bye, guys.